Talk and I would like to welcome you students of the Cal State Dominguez Hills Occupational Therapy Program. And as representatives of the American Occupational Therapy Association, I welcome you to our nation's capital. Hello I am Barack Obama, your Commander and Chief. Hello my name is Linda. Hi my name is Sharon. Hello, my name is Rotom. Hi, my name is Seema. Well, Michelle and I would like to invite you all into the Oval Office, for a chat. Mr. President, I like the Oval Office, and I like your dog. Does she bite? You'll have to refresh my memory. I've got a lot on my mind. Tell me, why are you here? We represent all of the occupational therapy students in the United States. We've come to Washington to express our concerns about the future of our profession in the home health care field. Like, we love our patients, Mr. President, and we just want to make sure that they, like, have the very best care, you know. We're here to advocate for the passage of the Medicare Home Health Flexibility Act. And we are being proactive by talking to our local legislators. Michelle, do you have any foggy idea what they are talking about? Huh? This newly proposed legislation would make occupational therapy an initiating service for Medicare Home Health Services when on the doctor's order. This will allow, like you know, um, home health agencies to more efficiently use their occupational therapists to like, meet patient needs. We would be able to do the initial home health care assessments that will help our Medicare patients get better sooner. Well that sounds good to me. You and I may be needing it someday. <laughs> when the bill crosses your desk, sign it my love. Okay Poopsie, I will. Excuse me President Obama, but since we are here, can we have some money? Sure oh Tom, how much do you want? $100,000. No, can we have more please? How about $5 million? Oh sure, why not? You look like good kids who mean well. And besides, this country can afford it. Hmm, so what exactly is the money for anyway? It's like, for if all you will share sports organizations in California, they won't be able to put it to great use, like you know, for like, buying new racing wheelchairs and stuff. Sounds good to me. Okay, I have to go now, busy busy busy. There are important things every minute around here, the Lakers are on TV, and it's the second half of the playoff game. And Kobe just fouled out. Thank you. Thank you. Like, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. This is your captain speaking. We will be landing at LAX International Airport approximately 10 minutes. Thank you for flying with us. Welcome back. Please tell the class about your trip. Like, we got 5 million bucks from the president. Oh, 5 million dollars? How did you do that? We didn't need to do much Marilyn. It was easy. We just smiled and said politely and told the president and first lady that we went had come to Washington DC. So we can help disabled people lead better lives. Then Rotom asked the Obamas for five million dollars. It's for Jeff, and others like him who have suffered spinal cord injuries, they can buy new sports equipment, they can enter wheelchair competitions across the United States. They will be able to make new friends, which will be amazing for their socialization skills. And also, because of our political advocacy, the Medicare Act looks like it will now pass. Now, that sounds fantastic. Excellent job. All four of you get an A+. Plus. 